It's a very intuitive process because I actually don't draw the image. I just put the paint and then follow where it leads me. Although I do have like a vision of how it should look like. I always start with this darker background and then I add the light and build the light. Just returned from the framers. So very exciting to see how they would really look like. You know, for this particular piece, I love um, just keeping the reflection around here and keeping the light. When I start painting the clouds, there's something that I feel like I need to chase something. <laughs> and so when I'm doing that, it's just gonna be a lot of movement and a lot of blending. And even, especially when I get into that layers of oil, I'll be doing this for hours. Apply the paint and then enjoy the process. A lot of my work is actually kind of semi-abstract. Um, it gives you a snapshot of some familiar scenes, but it goes deeper into your emotional response to the landscape. It's just a wonderful space. It makes me feel like I'm somewhere um, like in Italy. It really gives me uh, that atmosphere where I can meditate and contemplate. I learned that once I know that foundation and I know that for sure that I have it in me, I can carry it with me anywhere. It is important to have that intention and that willingness and decision to show up. It's, it's a way of honoring the craft that I do and honoring the gift that I'm given as well so that I could share it to others. Working as a nurse, I look after a lot of patients and hear all these stories from, from my patients, stories of miracles, stories, stories of tragedies and things like that. And so when I create my paintings, those emotions are part of those stories. Fundamentally, it's actually how you create the light and, and the darkness. We go through difficulties, we go through challenges, but then it is that light that actually makes things better. It is the hope that we hold in our hearts. It's the love that we share to people, and we receive to people. And for me, that's where healing comes. That's where the appreciation of beauty happens. And that's where we find meaning. It's about connecting to the largeness of life. It's exciting, but at the same time, I have to go through that emotions of letting go of what I've been doing for a very long time. When I prayed to God and asked if this is really what I'm meant to be doing, I knew that deep in my heart, He gave me the answer that I'm with you in every step of the way. I go through those moments when I feel like I'm having a breakdown before I show it is that power that just changes everything. It, there's a shift inside me and where I find hope and where I find strength and I find confidence. I want this space to be a space of contemplation for them to stop and think and let the paintings remind them of what's really important in their lives. And it's a way of knowing yourself better by having that moment of contemplation and reflection. And I'm hoping that somehow this gallery would be that medium for them to be able to do even just a little bit of that. It is such a great privilege to be able to create something that speaks about those truths in our lives. I am not just an artist, but rather I am a painter of, of dreams. I'll always be pursuing like how to even create deeper connection with people. And for now, at this present moment, this is what I do, and I'm grateful that I'm able to do this. I'm excited for what's in the future as well. 